Hello student, today we'll be continuing with reading maps. Chapter 4, reading maps. First, we'll look at the signs and symbols of map. The symbols and signs used on a map are known as conventional symbols. They are the common signs and symbols that are universally accepted. It also represents features such as mountains, rivers, forests, railway tracks, bridges, etc. Suppose to know the mountains and rivers or bridges or to identify them or differentiate them, we have a symbol that is a conventional symbol. Next is legends. Legends are the types of a feature shown on a map. For example, charts, for example, charts on a map are shown as a cross symbol and the other are also different types of legends. Legends are the types of a features shown on a map. For example, charts. Charts on a map are shown as or they appear as a cross. And the other things like water bodies, it is in blue color and vegetations green and the physical features brown and names for the and black color for names. Types of maps. Maps can be categorized on the basis of the kind of information they they provide. Example, road maps, weather maps, physical maps, and political maps. They represent different kinds of information. And scale is another criterion that is used to classify maps. Maps based on a scale. Large scale maps, these are Maps that show small area in greater details. For example, one centimeter on a map is 10 kilometer on the ground. And all the topographic maps are large scale maps. Topographic maps means which shows the details of the land surface or the land area. These maps show relief and other natural features such as rivers, lakes, forests, as well as human made features, roads, cities, and buildings. And also the tourist maps are also large-scale maps. Next is small-scale map. Small-scale maps, this, in these maps, it shows the larger area with lesser details, such as wall maps. And a map of India on a wall map or even in an atlas, they are all small-scale maps. Maps also can be classified into groups based on their content and purpose. First is physical maps. The maps that represent the physical or the natural features of the Earth's surface. And in these physical maps, the geographical features are more important and the boundaries are not important. So in physical maps, we won't be seeing the boundaries of any countries. Next is weather maps. Weather maps, they show the movement of weather system, distribution of rainfall or snowfall and areas of equal temperatures or air pressures, and also wind directions. Next is topographical maps. Topographical maps, it shows great details of the natural features or a small area, including rivers, lakes, mountains, etc. They also show human-made areas like parks, wells, cities, and towns. Next is thematic maps. Thematic maps are Maps that are based on a theme or a topic, they are called thematic maps. Next is a political maps. Political maps, it shows the political boundaries drawn as lines of countries, states, districts, villages, or towns. Distribution maps, it shows the distributions of crops, mineral, and forests. Next is nautical charts. It is used to navigate ships. Aviation charts, it also shows it shows airways, traffic, controls, towers, airports, and air routes. And ge geological maps, it shows the age and types of rock and soil. Tourist map, it features place of interest, museums, monuments, etc. Next is an atlas. The definition of an atlas is, it is a collection of maps usually bound as a book. They include information and diagrams related to geographical features and population data. Next is a skates. Skates is a diagram that is drawn without taking into consideration the actual distance between place or directions. It is called a skates. Skates, for example, if your friends or someone tells you 
the location of his house and they wrote it down or draw them in a piece of paper. Those are called a skits and plan. Plan is an outline drawing of buildings or a room or a small area. While skits are just a rough one, plan is more in details and it's not like a sketch. That's all. And for your home assignment, question number one, what is conventional symbols? Question number two, what is large-scale maps and small-scale maps? Three, define the followings, physical maps, weather maps, topographical maps. And question number four, what is an atlas? I hope you'll be doing your assignment. And your assignment is based on the video, so you have to look at the video properly and listen them and write them down in your notebooks. Thank you. Thank you.